When we measure mass, uh, the way we really do it is to give you a weight. This is pretty typical, especially on Earth, because we're all experiencing the same amount of gravity on our mass, so we weigh ourselves to compare what our masses are. So the answer to this question for the most appropriate uh, method for measuring the mass of some cheese is a weighing scale. And if they went further, you'd probably use grams, not kilograms. Remember, kilograms are a thousand grams each. So grams measure everyday objects that we can handle and hold without too much difficulty, whereas kilograms measure these huge things, and milligrams, mg, milligrams, measure one one thousandth of a gram. So small things. So the answer here is a weighing scale, but let's go over the other options, and I think a reason why many students often get this wrong is that um, you are taught correctly that weight is not mass. So when you see weighing, you automatically dismiss that as the answer. However, it is, again, because we, the way we deal with mass is to measure and weigh mass. That's how we do it. Uh, a measuring cup. Now, you could scoop up cheese in a measuring cup and then figure out how much mass is by weighing it, but that's not as efficient as just somehow placing the serving of cheese on the scale. Um, what you're holding the cheese in is entirely a different process. So the measuring cup, this would definitely be relevant for measuring liters or the volume of some kind of liquid in general. Sorry about the handwriting there. A thermometer um, deals with temperature. So this is a measurement of heat. A ruler is a measurement of distance or length. So sometimes, even if you feel unsure about the word weighing, look at these other choices. None of them deal with mass. It's the weighing process that is the most legitimate.